dear students welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on laplace transform in the first video we learned the formulas and basics on laplace transform and the video number 2 that is problem solving session part 1 we learn how to solve simple problems using a linear property and trigonometric formulas in today's session we are going to solve problems with new properties first shifting theorem or s shifting theorem Suppose I am taking Laplace transform of a function f of t. I can write this as capital F of s. Yes. Now, if my function f of t is multiplied with e power a t, how to deal this kind of problems? We are going to use first shifting theorem. So, if l of f of t is capital F of s, yes, then l of e power a t into f of t is going to be l of f of t solve the problem for l of f of t and replace the final answer s yes by s yes minus a this is equal to capital f of s yes minus a that means if l of f of t is capital f of s yes, then l of e power a t into f of t is capital f of s yes minus a in the similar way l of e power minus C A T into F of T. I am going to write this as L of F of T. At the end, replace S yes by S yes plus A. That is capital F of S yes plus A. Once we start solving the problem, you can understand this very easily, student. Let us go into the problem. Find Laplace transform of e power minus three t into t e power five. Whenever we see the multiplication, just check for exponential. Here we have l of e power minus three t. Therefore, it is of the form l of e power minus a t into f of t. Immediately apply the first shifting theorem. L of e power minus a t into f of t is l of f of t, and finally s is replaced by s plus a. So l of e power minus three t into t power five. Immediately I have to write this as l of t power five. Yes, is replaced by yes plus three because we have e power minus three t here. Now we know the formula. L of t power n is n factorial divided by s power n plus one when n is a integer. Therefore, we get five factorial divided by s power five plus one. I can directly write this as s power six. Yes, is replaced by Yes, plus three. Therefore, the final answer is five factorial divided by yes is replaced by s plus three. So s plus three whole power six. Next, l of e power minus three t sine four t. Whenever you get multiplication, just check exponential term is there. Whenever you get Laplace transform of two functions, check if there is an exponential function. Then use shifting property. By seeing this, we can easily identify. It looks like l of e power minus a t into f of t. Using first shifting theorem, I can easily solve this problem. So l of sine four t s is replaced by s plus three. Sine four t is going to be four by s square plus four square because l of sine a t is a by s square plus a square. S is replaced by s plus three. So four divided by s plus three whole square plus sixteen. We don't want to simplify further. We can stop here. Next, if you want, you can simplify and give the final solution. Next, l of e power two t cos three t. So here we have e power a t. So l of e power a t into f of t. According to first shifting theorem, we can write this as l of f of t. Yes, is replaced by s yes minus a because we have plus a t here. Therefore, by first shifting theorem, we solve the problem. We rewrite this as l of cos three t. Yes, is replaced by s yes minus two. L of cos three t is s by s square plus three square. S is replaced by s minus two. Therefore, my numerator is s minus two. Denominator is s minus two whole square plus nine. And then we can simplify the denominator easily. Next question: L of e power minus t into three sine four t 
minus 2 cos 40. First, we have to apply shifting theorem because we have e power minus 2t. So, L of e power minus 2t into f of t can be written as L of 3 cos 40 minus 2 sin 40. S is replaced by S plus 2. Now we have to apply linear property. 3 times L of cos 40 minus 2 times L of sin 40. S is replaced by S plus 2. And we know the formula for cos 40 is S by S square plus 16. Sin 40, 4 by S square plus 16. So, 3 S S square by 16 minus 8 by S square plus 16. Finally, S is replaced by S plus 2. The next problem, L of e power minus 4t into sin 3t cos 2t. First, apply the first shifting here because we have e power minus 4t. So, L of e power minus a t into f of t is L of f of t. S is replaced by S plus a. Now, L of e power minus 4t, I can write this as S is replaced by S plus 4. L of sin 3t cos 2t. We know that sin a cos b formula is 1 by 2 sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Therefore, sin 3t into cos 2t can be written as sin 5t plus sin t. Now, using the linear property, I can find the answer. L of sin 5t is 5 by s square plus 5 square. L of sin t is 1 by s square plus 1 square. Finally, replace s by s plus 4. We get 1 by 2. 5 by s plus 4 whole square plus 25 plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 1. So, we don't want to simplify further. We can stop here. And next, a similar problem with cos. First, apply first shifting theorem and then use the formula cos A cos B. That is 1 by 2 cos A plus B plus cos a minus b. So, 4 plus 2 will be getting cos 6t plus 4 minus 2 cos 2t. Now, applying Laplace transform, we get s by s square plus 6 square plus s by s square plus 2 square. s is replaced by s plus 2. Replacing s by s plus 2, we get 1 by 2 s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 36. Second term, s plus 2 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 4. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.